there is a strange ship outside um, being crewed by uh, none other than than former crewmates of Cora's under Baena. Um, yes. And they are all in the th- services of one Liliana who is Mutiny. standing and waving at the prow of the ship. They have just summoned the Joyful Damnation um, and um, they have basically said, you can have a head start, but we're going to catch you, we're going to cook you, and we're going to eat you. My recommendation is that we, uh, Captain Corazon, is that we head for the coral reef out to west and hope to run the inevitability aground in the pursuit. This individual has uh, big fluffy ears and a long fluffy tail. And um, you recognise your friend Rust on the harbour. Rust! 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 Rascal! Russ says, well, in, in that case, um, he lowers himself into a fighting stance and he says, as we say in the trade, roll for initiative. So how did your roll go? Uh, I got a nine plus my initiative modifier of four, so that's 13. We are tied again. Oh, dang. Oh, wow. Uh, that's eight, I rolled an 18 plus four is 22. Yeah, I rolled a two, so um, <laughs> okay. you can you, you can by all means start first. I think sort of Rust lowers himself into a fighting stance, says roll for initiative, and then kind of just takes a moment to look around and be like, ah, like oh, I like you guys. Is, this is mm. fun. Um, okay, so uh, dropping into a fighting stance, I reach into my pockets and I withdraw two gold pieces and I flick them both <laughs> towards Rust on the harbour. <laughs> okay, um, I am going to say just because of the peculiarities of this character that this is going to be an intelligent saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cocked. Uh, the sound is like ping, and then like a boom, 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 boom. As it like he like, he is Under briefly room. stunned. He yeah. genuinely does not. He's like, uh-huh. he doesn't comprehend what's happening. Okay, so while he's um, confused, I would like to attempt to um, disarm him with my sword. Okay. I'd like to mm. just like just flick his sword out of his hand while he's sort of aghast, and I assume he's la- loosened his grip on his uh, sword. Almost well. certainly, yes. Um, you know how cats just sometimes will just go like, and their yeah. their pupils go. Mm-hmm. That's where he is reset. right now. Yeah. So make me a make me a dex attack. Um, He's got two swords, but I, so I reckon you can probably only get one off him. I've got two swords. Oh, well, well. All right, then. Yeah, uh, go for it. All right. Yeah, make me a dex. Don't forget your proficiency for your rapier. Uh, Fifteen. That does exceed his armor class. Yes. Um, but I'm not trying to hurt him. You're not trying to hurt him, no. Tell you what, can we do just... Mm, we're going to make it two rolls for two weapons. Okay. No, it's... Yeah, yeah, sod it, why not? All right. Yeah. Wait. That one is... 16. Then, yes. Um, both of his swords kind of... Whoop, uh, fly out of his hands. One of them uh, clatters to the floor and slides across the deck. Um, the other one... Uh, goes dun, 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 in the foremost, uh, and he is soundly um, disarmed. Um, what's he gonna do? Oh wait, no that. Uh, okay, so this is this is me, Johnny, asking now. Uh, well, I mean, I'm always Johnny, but you know what I mean. This yeah. is out of out of character question. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Our cultural understanding, commonly of Peter Pan rules, is full disarm. Disarmed is lost, right? Because it's yeah. Point under the chin. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dob, Incredible. You, Dob, you are the, the the scholar of Peter Pan rules. Let me check there. Um, yes, yeah. unless he is able to jump up and balance on the end of your sword. In which case, <laughs> must be reset. But, uh, I'm just, yeah, I'm hearing, yeah. I'm hearing that is a victory unless, unless Rust can balance on the tip of your sword. I'm going to do this at a disadvantage <laughs> okay. uh, because, um, he just had to Come contemplate on, a horrifying existence of more than one gold piece. I so I have want to roll. To see this happen, so. yeah, well, I, do I would it, have to roll two nat twenties in a row for this to work. Okay. Come, Come on, the... Rust. Come on. So that's, well, that's uh, I rolled oh. a thirteen and a four. Okay. Oh, so Rust. no, uh, Poor Rust. R- Rust um, 
yeah, sure enough has the point of a rapier under his chin and goes, oh, oh well done. What happened? Well, oh, it's, um, never mind. The point is <laughs> that uh, I've bested you in single combat, and so we can, stop, we can stop all this uh, killing us nonsense. All right, Agreed. fine. Yes, but if you want to hire me to help you survive, then it will cost you dearly. I have one gold piece. <gasps> yes, I will accept the payment of one gold piece. <laughs> All right. Welcome aboard, I say. Rust, it's so good to have you back. Yeah, welcome he, aboard, first mate. He slots, the <laughs> <laughs> he slots the coin into his top pocket. It clinks slightly, and he goes, eh? Um, oh. Probably. Uh, distract him! Quick, Corazon, distract yeah. him! So I, 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 clink I produce the, a ball of the rum, I clink the rum glass <laughs> against the bottle, and I say, oh, sorry, I was just pouring a drink. Would you like one? Oh, uh, okay. well, that, uh, that would be great. There you go. He's now just staring at a ball of twine, like, <laughs> being like, be cool. <laughs> Rust, be cool. It's like, yes, thank you. Seep. I bat because... it slightly just to see what he does. Oh. <laughs> so what are, we, what are we doing? We're escaping. Our... Okay. Uh, We're escaping. What is, what is the plan, though? I mean... We're heading that for chippies. a coral reef. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We're heading for a coral reef where we think it'll be... Um, they won't be able to get through because they're too low in the water. And then we're also going to do... There's a variety of stuff going on with depth charges, and it's, mm. it's quite complicated. But uh, I think you'll get the hang of it as we go. Well, I have never heard of a depth charge before in my life, but I'm excited to be on board. Um, mm -hmm. It's nice to reconnect with old friends. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, uh, yeah, fr uh, frankly... Uh, there's a lot more room on this ship because they have a lot of Egberts in there. So <laughs> many. I'm liking the sound of all those Egberts. So That's many. That's well, why they're cannot... riding so low in the water. It's just ro <laughs> row after yeah. row after row what? of Egbert climbing Riding the massive. hold. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You've opened the trap door into the... Do you have a trap door into the hold of a ship? Yeah. What? And Probably. it's just a sea of Egberts. <laughs> Rust, um, mm. weird question. I don't know, like, this possibly you didn't notice when you were aboard, uh, but a couple of questions. First, did Liliana mention me? And two, did <laughs> you happen to see, uh, were they, like, did you notice anyone poring over any sort of sea charts? Did you uh, did you hear the word reef mentioned aloud when you were aboard? Uh, well, um, to uh, answer those questions in ascending order of how embarrassing it must have been for you to ask them, uh, <laughs> They do have navigators. Um, they have got sea charts of the area. Uh, I didn't get too good of a look. Uh, uh, it is likely they have a chart of, of, of this place. Um, uh, so they, they may know about the channels in and out. It's, it's anybody's guess. And uh, uh, no, she did not uh, directly mention you oh. to me. But um, yeah, shy probably. I'm just oh. a. I am an hired mercenary. It's it's, you know, don't take that as um, as an indicator of uh, you know a bad feeling or. Um, <laughs> yeah no, <laughs> what? what what no you are. Well, I mean, she uh, is trying I to kill you. So I think I think bad feeling is assumed. I go and sit by a cannon. What? Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, prudence. Is there something I said? No, Rust. It's not your fault. Don't worry about it. I'll go and oh. I'll go and comfort Dog. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. 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 He's a complicated. He's a complicated half orc. Is is Dob? I go and sit mm. next to Dob. Dob, are you mad at Corazon for making Rust first mate? No. Oh. Okay. Because I am. <laughs> oh. You think we should leave me? Yeah, I'm jealous. <laughs> Okay. I, I flick the locks on the cats. Uh, this big cat man comes on board. <laughs> now his first mate. I was next in line, I imagine. Mm. Anyway, I think you were, me, uh, sorry about me Liliana. And Rust, me and Rust are carousing and singing a shanty together. Currently. <laughs> yep. Look at them over there. No, Rust, cool. this, does this I think you should be ship have any dub? weakness? Like this this big galleon, when you're over there, did you see any like anything that looked like a weakness, or is it just totally... Uh, Soon well, um, may badass. the willow man come and bring <laughs> us sugar and tea. What, Egbert, what? With, this is shanty time. Yeah, he's singing right, it, and then I sing it again, but add something, and right. then he does it. Uh, but uh, not to answer your question, uh, I mean, this is of strong construction. I mean, the, the hull is, uh, is oak planking at least three foot thick, but uh, she's vulnerable in the hull, like the rest of us. <laughs> same. Oh, Look, yeah. It has this. It, we know it has the same vulnerability. It's just down. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Yes. If, where, where? if we can, if we can, if we can run it aground on this coral reef, then yeah. our 
It, it cannot chase us. It'll take, it'll, it'll take them a full day, probably, to get it, it off. It seems route. like a good plan to me. As long as and you're not in cannon range when you enter the the, the coral reef, it uh, should be fine. I'm sorry, okay. Prudence, I talked over you. So we got to get out of we got to get out of cannon range, run the other ship we aground, and then the inevitability, we got to stay out of cannon range, mm-hmm. run the inevitability aground, and then it will start taking on water, as I understand ships yeah. and water it'll, it'll be literally and then, stuck on the on the and all the reef. egberts will drown in the hold oh god ideally yeah is this be not ideally ah? where yeah where, um, i'm 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 with egbert on this one how is it uh, how is that an ideal situation because there's the bad egberts the, the clone egberts they're just not misunderstood bad egbert. <laughs> maybe oh. they, they, i mean they've they fallen in not. with a bad crowd yes where? but oh, do, what do I you suggest for... then, Rust? If you, I mean, we need to stop this ship from killing us. No, I, no, it, it's okay. I just, uh, I like him. It seems like you like him. I kind of assumed that more of him would be a good thing. No, they're bad ones. Rust has a good point. Oh. More Regberts is good. I think less ship. is more when it comes to Egbert. I mean, hey. <laughs> our, Egg, our Egbert's one of a kind. <laughs> We're okay. at Egbert capacity. It's one in, one out at this one point. One Egbert or I. <laughs> Dearly, no Egberts is the, is the yeah. sweet spot. Oh, no Egberts. We're one allowed egg one. Bur- <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, um, okay. All right. Yeah, so here's okay. the situation. We, okay. we are currently in cannon range, right? Because Rust landed on. We're uh, in of the no, only the mega rail gun. Range of the one. Yeah, yeah, the rail gun. Yeah, but that's. I would <laughs> say that is. Gun. I would say the pirate rail gun is the one that it is most important to be not in range of. Yeah, yeah. but I imagine that takes a while to reload and fire and stuff. So Wait, that's. Well, make me a wisdom perception check. See if you can glean any information about the railgun. They are probably like miles oh, yeah. out at this point, right? That's like a, a nineteen. The range is probably rock miles. Okay. Five. It's twenty-four. Okay. Uh, what you see um, is uh, a bucket line on the uh, the the like the foxhole of um, of the inevitability, where somebody has rigged up a pump and is pumping water into people getting buckets and throwing buckets of water over this massive cannon. These are so immediately hot. turning to vapour. Whoa, um, okay. You this anticipate doesn't seem the, like a thing that you could fire many times in a row. While they're trying, they are trying to um, to cool it down, it looks like they're not going to be able to even go near it uh, for a good while. So you're feeling at least confident about that. Uh, what was your roll again? Uh, 24. Okay, right. Well, for a 24, what you can easily feel less confident about uh, is the fact that um, they seem to be launching um, effectively effectively lifeboats over the side. Two are already in the water, another two are being lowered. Um, And it seems like there are a good four individuals uh, heavily armed on each of these ships, uh, boats rather. Uh, And as you watch, you see... Um, a hooded figure kind of roll up their sleeves kneel down at the back of the lifeboat put their arms in the water and just (laughs) Um, you have a sudden uh, sort of flashback to Meryl when herself performing the exact same manoeuvre as you were making a river a riverboat escape um, and you your guess is that they are creating water to basically perform like form a a jet wave mm. and start motoring their way towards you. Uh, indeed, to... they are going quite fast. We need to cram okay. on every scrap of sail. I have, I have a, I have a plan that I don't think anyone's going to like. But hear me out. <laughs> what, what is it, Mister Dob? Um, I, I'm trying <laughs> to think of to ways. Us. I'm trying to think of ways to slow down their ship, and ideally uh-huh. we could think of something. All I've got at the moment is I go overboard and try and like spike their guns manually, but it seems like they're too far away. Mm-hmm, so our mm-hmm. other option is speed mm-hmm. up our ship. So what I'm proposing yes. is yes. we push all of our cannons overboard. <gasps> um, okay. a de- one desperate throw of the dice. A, the, the increase in speed could make all the difference. I love it. Or, <laughs> or, 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 or I've got an idea. Okay, you don't want us to throw your guns overboard, do you? No, they were very expensive. What if Um, we empty the captain's cabin of all its fine silks and furnishings? Yes, what if we put the captain's (laughs) bed in the water? Well, silk is famously very heavy. (laughs) No, no. Is that a feather bed? Because that is dense. Mm. Mm. It's mm, no, it's mate, it's uh, air. It's full of air. (laughs) That that cat's been looking at me funny. That can go overboard as well. All right, this is I. 
Not I literally <laughs> was just saying how much I like not, you. No, not, not you. The sorry, ship the ship's cat. Is there another people. cat on board? Is it Emily? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Emily. Her name is Emily? Cat. Yeah. There'll be time for you to sniff its butt later. We need to concentrate. <laughs> Rude. We, we will make you time. You do not know much about um, tabaxi. Anything, you. really, to be honest, but yes. Oh. Okay. You have a stout out, Egbert. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. The yes. medical term is enlarged. Okay, I have never used I have never used these because I'm worried that they are cursed in some way and I don't want to get Everyone is into really good at selling plans today. <laughs> trouble with them. But let's hear it. I um I reach into my bag and I pull out the braces of incredible strength. Uh, which oh. I acquired during um, a previous adventure yeah. at the museum. Yeah. Uh, I, re I reckon if what I was, put, I'm going to put these on and I'm going to okay. jump behind the ship and I'm going to, I'm going to swim. I'm going to push. Do you like windmill arms to push the yeah. ship? Mm. Oh, okay. Wait, also, it okay. gives me. It doesn't just give me arm strength. It gives me all full oh, body okay. strength. Okay, true. Yeah, because I was going to say, surely a rope around your waist and swimming in front of the ship. Well, <laughs> or, I mean, they're braces. I could tie them to, I could put them on my legs. They would oh, fit yeah. My, they would fit my calves. Yes. And um, then kick I feel the like... ship like it's, um, like it's a float. Mm. You know, like a swimming oh, float. Yeah. And you're like... Oh, yeah. I was fairly sure that these were, um, these were cursed in some way, which is why I haven't used them yet. But I think this is desperate times call for desperate measures mm. and I'll deal with whatever it is down the road. Okay, yep. sure. Um... So, you're going to put them on your arms? Let's put, them on my, let's put them on my legs and then we'll... Okay, yeah. go on your legs. Give okay. me leg strength while I kick. Um, sure, I... you you start to put them on, um, uh, sort of as you did briefly before. Um, uh, as you sort of put them on and you start to thread the leather straps through, they go... <laughs> and um, like some kind of futuristic shoe... Um, <laughs> they self-attach to your limbs and then oh, go, Welcome back, new user! <laughs> Hi. Uh, looking for some leg strength right now. Sure! Gauntlets are 75% charged. Cool. That sounds, that sounds pretty good. That sounds like quite a lot. Would you like to register name new user? Yeah, it's Corazon. Corazon! Yeah, there's an accent in there somewhere. <laughs> I forget which letter. Coraz! Uh. Yeah, that's it. Welcome, Coraz! Uh. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's go. And then I do a big dive into the ocean off the uh, stone. Okay. Um, it looks really cool. Um, you even manage like a half turn and like there's zero splash. Like if there, yeah, if there were any judges, they would be very, very impressed. Um, underneath the, the water, sort of everything Corazon briefly goes, um, well, it doesn't go quiet, but everything's muffled as uh, water kind of just rushes into your ears. But even beneath the waves, um, as the, you know, the familiar tang of brine enters uh, the corner of your mouth, you hear the muffled voice of the braces going, Warning! Braces only waterproof to a depth of 40 feet. Okay, that's fine. Braces, I'll be staying on the surface. Um, okay. Good, okay. Ready to kick. All right, let's get kicking. <laughs> okay. And then um, I kick real hard. Yep. Uh, sure. Uh, make me a strength athletics check. Um, definitely with advantage. Okay. Work those little legs, Corazon. I'm, I'm kick gonna... your heart out. Uh, okay, that's. A... I shout from the deck. It's a twelve. Don't shout, kick your heart out from the deck, because the braces might. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and hoof his heart out of his chest. Okay. God, I um... hate cursed artifacts. Four, Fourteen was the highest. Okay, I mean, it's. I think with the braces, that's that's plenty. Um, you feel tremendously powerful. Like, in, in fact, you almost feel the the joints of your shoulders groaning as you start to. Push your own ship, um, which is already going quite fast, along. Um, you are reminded briefly of a favourite bath toy that you used to have, which was um, a little frog that would kick its legs. Wind up. Um, but uh, yeah, you like the the change is notable. 
um, for those of you on deck, you kind of go like, Whoop. <gasps> wow, this is a this is a sudden acceleration. Nice. Um, and uh, you kind of see the the boat crews kind of suddenly gesticulating and shouting at their druids. Um, the plumes kind of, of of water being kicked up get bigger behind them, but you are still managing to put a good amount of distance between yourselves and um, and the chasing craft. Um, um, this is yeah, that- genuinely quite impressive. Now, now that Corazon's um, not on the ship and in the sea, um, there's something I'd like to do to his bedroom, if that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Mutiny! <laughs> he can't hear this. He can't hear this, this and doesn't know. Okay. Yeah, um, sure. Um, I, I, don't know, I don't know too much about ships, but what I do know is that when you fire a cannon out the back, you tend to do it out of the captain's quarters, right? You sort of, like, clear everything away and run a... Best place for it run a cannon out through the like that big fancy window at the back, yep. which involves completely trashing the room. Um, oh, absolutely, okay. yeah. Flashback. So like, Why do they even put the captain's bed <laughs> Flashback. In Wrong Flashback. game, Corazon. Last week, I put a big acid bucket <laughs> over the door. <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch okay. my stuff, it says. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, help me. Let, let's get it. Let's get a can. This way we can like fire back. I, basically, I want to shoot a cannon at their masts. Right. Okay. okay, I'm learning so much about cannons and ships. And okay, so we get to trash his bedroom and fire a big gun. Yes. Yeah. We walk I mean, into Corazon's. It's um, win-win. Capt- into the captain's quarters. What does it look yeah. like in here? Yeah. Corazon, what does it look like in the captain's quarters? Well, okay. There's a giant. It's dominated by a giant four-poster bed, um, with a huge skull and crossed cutlasses, uh, sort of carved into the uh, the headboard. Bed, yeah, the headboard. Um, there's a sort of large, uh, ornate um, uh, wardrobe in one corner. Um, it's a walk-in, so... Um, <laughs> All this uh, stuff is so heavy. I can't believe he made you sleep in the magazine. <laughs> he didn't make me, I kind of wanted to. Uh, fair, fair, yeah. fair. Um, okay, what else? So there's a bunch of chests full of sort of scarves and uh, rings and things like that. There's a big um, leather-topped desk with, uh, with drawers and sort of bottles of rum um, and glasses. There's one of those big globe drinks cabinets in one corner. Um, a bunch of shelves full of books and uh, sort of navigational equipment. You know, standard sort of captain's, captain's quarters. Sounds uh, nice. Prudence, so help me nice make space you. for a cannon. Rip and right, tear flip, until it's done. I immediately <laughs> I flip the desk. Yeah. And um, yeah, an empty, uh, empty chest There's some very fine the um, sort of vases and porcelain. Um, oh yeah, that's all smashed. It's all getting smashed. Ornate cutlasses on the I, wall. Some bell jars full of specimens. I sweep everything onto the floor. <laughs> Interesting <laughs> specimens that I've uh, I've gathered. You know, stuff that would um, would really the Royal Society would be very interested in. Okay, um, um, I am not going to make you roll for this because genuinely I don't know what would be a success metric for this. Mm-hmm. It's like if you roll high, are you not trashing the room? Or are you trashing the room? I'm trying to also, clear this away for the cannon. This, is, the this isn't the difficult thing, right? Like, nailing the shot's going to be the, the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's yeah. what we're sort of yeah. sure. trying okay. to do, ultimately. I mean, either either way, Corazon's not going to be happy about this. So no. I'm going to no. say the room... The room is... The, I mean, the room was already ruined by you being in it, as far as he's concerned. So <laughs> let's just say you do... Gosh. As far as, as, ha- as far as he is going to perceive it, you do catastrophic irreparable damage the captain I sweep causes. the sample jars onto the floor and shout we do not have time for your damn hobby sir <laughs> <laughs> and does then, this um, make it easier to get a cannon in dob or harder at this point well now there's room to basically uh, see you, like the, you know the big fancy window at the yeah. back yeah, of yeah, 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 yeah. Cabin. oh yeah the, the, the panoramic yeah. view through the um, back does, okay. do these windows open or do we need to kick out the entire window I kick out the entire window. Yeah, of course. Yeah. The, no, the full no windows time. don't open. Of course they don't. All right, I I'm going to kick one. see a bunch of glass coming down. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like... Oh, yeah. Uh, Mind out. Mm. I stick my head out of the uh, the captain's window. <laughs> Mind out below. What are Mind you doing? Mind out below a second ago, Corazon. Yeah. <laughs> Close your eyes. There's broken glass. <laughs> and your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't say anything. There's broken glass. It's um, best you don't mm. say anything. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Let's let's run out the the stern the stern chaser. Okay. Are you um, are you trying to keep it on its wheels so that it will go like back into the room and can be reloaded, or is this a one shot thing that you're hoping for? Oh, well, I guess it would be good to get, have, let it be allow it to be reloaded. I, I suppose. Yeah. Okay. Sure. That's that's fine. It's just going to take you a lot longer to rig up. 
because you're going to have to sort of you're going to have to get it off the gun carriage, mm-hmm. put the gun carriage up, rig up a line. This I is all fine. Nuts. It's just that I'll make you do a few. Say, we're not a, in a huge prudence? hurry because we are accelerating away from the threat. We've got that, and also we need to fire it more than once because there are two life rafts, two lifeboats full of druids, right? Well, are we there firing are four. them at the four, ship, or are we fact. firing them at the little boats? I would think they're out of range. The ship itself. It sounds is out like of range. the gun carriage is, is the right the right thing to do here. So, um, okay. okay, I would like strength athletics checks from everybody who is helping to carry, yeah. Um, yeah. to to reposition one of the um, the. Eight pounders? Eight pounders. That's a pretty respectable cannonball size, right? Yeah. I, I have no yeah, idea. Sure. Fifteen plus four is nineteen. Eight. Fourteen. Okay, uh so um Dob, you um you tweak your back and uh <laughs> oh. you guys finish that's gonna, that's yeah, gonna you're, come back you, to haunt you for the rest of your life. You spend you should have lifted the, with your knees, not with your back. Uh, yeah, uh, somewhat unfortunately, Dob was trying to just hold the cannon uh, <laughs> just above his posterior, so like it went up his spine, and just yeah. did the classic just raise and jerk all in the back, oh, uh, no. and it didn't go. It didn't go brilliantly. So um, oh. big popping okay. sound. It takes you a little longer than you'd hope, and I'm afraid Dob, you're just going to have to direct them as they uh, make a. Uh, yeah, another strength athletics check to reassemble the cannon, please. Dub, yeah. I'll, why don't you do a deck sleight of hand check to, to make sure that the the carriage line is, is set up so that when you fire this cannon, the gun doesn't end up... Well, well that's a 19, so that's a bit okay. better. Well, that's good. Yeah. I got 12 plus 4, 16. Great. 15. Great. Okay, it actually goes off without a hitch. Um, you, you rest the cannon back onto the carriage... Um, you sort of reattach it, make it, make sure it's it's all fast. Uh, Dob lies down because it makes things less painful. <laughs> oh, uh, you and lie on finishes, the floor. yeah, yeah finishes, the floor where it's hard. finishes tying it off, and then just sort of is lying down. Ooh, you guys got this right. Easing easing that out. Um, Corazon, mm. you get a um, cheerful message um, from the uh, the uh, braces saying. Mm. Charge at 25%. Would okay. you like to hear the weather forecast? Yeah, go on. Oh, wait, forecast. That uses a lot of battery. <laughs> yes, yeah, GPS, shipping uh, forecast. <laughs> um, necropolis on sea. Uh, turbulent. Three. Later good. German bite. <laughs> uh, blah, 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 blah. This carries on for about 10 minutes. Um, uh, what zero. are you doing? South are you going to keep... Zero. Are you going to keep kicking, or...? Um, I'd, how, how much distance have we put between us and the, and the ship? Do, I should probably keep a little charge in these things. I don't actually know how to charge them. This might be all the stuff I get, so... Okay. Uh, I guess, yeah, 25%. That's probably time to pack it up if I've used literally half the battery of these things. Sure. But I think um, I've probably given us some advantage. Yeah, oh, definitely. You've, you've, right. You have increased your lead on the inevitability by let's call it a good like 40 50 percent again great like you've you've made great tracks um and the mouth of the coral reef is um now just like a few minutes away basically cool. uh, so not only is it good that you're conserving charge but also you probably don't want to start navigating this thing at a speed of 20 knots because <laughs> uh, yeah, that's just start easing i off. honestly don't know if that's fast or slow it's really quite fast okay. um for a ship but um so yeah uh, the ship is slowing down but in a good way and you have built up a decent lead so you're confident that uh, you're going to be able to get a good way into the coral reef before the inevitability actually okay. comes after you uh, right. just as you regain the deck the brace will say that concludes the shipping forecast and then an ear splitting volume plays uh the 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 well it's, there is no sort of national anthem of geth but um, it is uh, just a very National popular by Radiohead. F- folk song. Y- yes. <laughs> that. Do, 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 do. Okay, cool. Yep. Thanks, Braces. Uh, I, I take them off and pack them away. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, sure. Um, All right. They do not... They, actually, they up. don't let you take them off uh, no. before they take your blood pressure. Oh, okay. How is it's it? It's pretty good, actually. Nice. And blood. 
<laughs> oh no! Yeah. Oh, the blood Sorry, tithe has to be paid, of course. Uh, no, you're, you're told that your blood pressure is pretty good. Uh, if anything, you could actually. Yeah. They, yeah. Sure. It takes a small blood sample. Tells you if anything, your cholesterol could be a little bit higher. So. Oh, interesting. All right. Yeah. Well, I haven't been walk around. Haven't been eating much red meat lately, so. There you go. It's, prob- it's probably it. Anyway, um, folks have managed to get us a bit of a lead over the ship, so I'm just going to go down to uh, my quarters and get changed because that was quite. That, uh, that's cool. We've rigged up a cannon to fire. Yeah, at the back of the it's ship. Mostly cannon in there now, to be honest. Oh, with now you don't have to go all the way to your wardrobe to get your clothes because they're right all here on the, the floor. stairs. Yeah. And floor, yeah. <laughs> Surprise! Rust is asleep atop <laughs> all of your clothes. They do don't disturb Rust, rust Corazon. Just hug Egbert, you'll dry out. Yeah, I'm warm. I'm like a, an electric blanket. I um, am one of those is. I coldly look at the rest of them. I would stride across the deck and open the door that leads to the second captain's quarters, which are identical in every way. <laughs> <laughs> and then I slam the door. Oh. <laughs> uh. You still have inspiration, don't you? Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah okay, right. Well, I mean... <laughs> Gonna allow it. That's why there's no room on this ship. It's all back up yeah. captain's quarters. Through the, do- Wait, through the door... And you walking can- wardrobes for Corazon. <laughs> through, through the door He's- you hear the sound of the ice machine warming up. And the-, <laughs> <laughs> the magic oh, fingers cocktail. in yeah. the four-poster bed. Yeah, cocktail what I, what I'm getting is What I'm getting here is that we could be firing two cannons right now. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, all right. I, I emerge from the um, the captain's quarters, resplendent in a new outfit. Great. Um, it's uh, yeah. It, you look great. Um, so um, you are out of cannon range of cool. the inevitability. So uh, so in turn is the inevitability out of your cannon range. So also are the boats that are still motoring their way over to you. However, obviously you now have to slow down. So that lead is going to close and the cannon in the captain's quarters will soon become of use. Um, it's Basically, it's do or die time. You have to decide whether you are going to go into the, the reef, and if so, start making preparations, and if not, change course. I say we go into the, the reef, reef, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Slow down, right. head into the reef. Trim here's, the sails. My, here's my only concern with the reef plan is that, that okay. they know they know about the reef as soon as they see us going into the reef they're going to start like adjusting for another course to kind of like catch us on the way out so, like I don't like I, but this I don't reef think is going... so large they'll have to go around it for ages right? it is yeah. it is enormous we are talking like great so barrier get, if they have size. to go around this reef then we're, we've as, as good as lost them okay. well they're not going to enter the reef anyway aren't they because they are too large yeah yeah mm. that's yeah but like, I, I guess the the question is, do we do we want them to just not be able to follow us, or do we want to like try and stop or scuttle or wreck the ship? But I guess it it is fine if they just if if we just put more distance between us, that also works, right? Suits our ends of getting away. And I don't have a plan to trick them to come into the reef after us if they know it's too shallow. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. But if Might as well do... lob those proximity mines over the over the side now, though, right? As a final screw you to the to the ship. I mean, we yeah. didn't make them for no reason. Exactly. Yeah. Be a shit. I mean, it'd be a waste not to use them. I well, know yeah. that. Um, I know. Let's that pop those over is... the side anyway. It might bother the little skiffs as well. So. Oh yeah, oh, yeah because the skiffs, I suppose, could try and follow us into they the will, reef. They will. Yep. Do you think mm. they'll follow us into the reef? I guess they will. Yeah. Might try. Yeah, they're yeah. little and fast. It's ideal yeah. for them. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So at the entrance, I'll pop the, I'll stick the proximity mines over the, over to the back. keep the smaller vessels from following yes. us in. Good. Uh, all right, Prudence. How about um, how about you and I head up to the top? You with the charts and like me just with the spyglass, and okay. and we just we navigate from up there. We, we call yep. down navigations to Corazon. Thank you. Okay. All right. Stay on the wheel, Corazon. We like okay. clamber up the wheel. rigging to the crow's nest. Okay. Great. Um, Rust wakes up and like, uh, uh what are we doing? Do I need to do anything? Get the mines in the water. Into the, into the reef. Can you give Egbert a hand with these uh, these sea yeah, mines? Yeah, come help me maybe. with the uh, mines. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what do I do? Do I just hit the pins or? No. No. <laughs> no? That's not how they work. No. Egbert, teach oh. rust explosive safety. Hold at the edges so that you're not pressing any of the plugs and the okay. pins, teach and then safety. and then we'll throw them over. 
without huh? touching them any more than that. Okay. You can drop them if you like. Drop them over. Just don't allow them to collide with yourself I can drop them? or the ship over the back of the ship. In okay. the water. Oh, I can drop them into water. They must not make contact with you or the ship as they fall. Okay. I got it. Yes, yeah. Where? Great. Where? Okay. Perfect. Sounds good. He just right. starts kicking his across the deck now. No! Like, no, <laughs> no <laughs> rest. Uh, yeah, these things aren't too heavy. He he hefts his up and starts mm-hmm. very carefully following you. So, yeah, I tell you what, uh, Dob and Prudence, on the way up, uh, you do need to... Let's say before you head up the mast, uh, you need to uh, haul in some sheets because you're going very fast right now and you need to slow the ship down. It's very mm-hmm. generous that you reminded us of that because I think otherwise none of us had addressed how we need to slow down. I did, going I did into say, the coral. I did oh, say trim the sails earlier. Sorry, Corazon. Okay, sorry. No, you did, you did, you did. Okay, well, you we were the captain the sails. and we listened to you. On I mean, it was up. technically an order from the captain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's more of a suggestion from the okay. captain. All right. Guidelines okay, we, rather than rules. No, no, Corazon is very right um, and we trim the sails as we ascend to the crow's nest. Okay, sure. Um, tell you what. Just make me a... We'll do this as a two-passer. Strength Athletics from you, please, Prudence. And then Dex Acrobatics from you, please, Dob. Um, to kind of uh, properly tie up some of the sails as they get um, fully hoisted by Prudence. All right. 18. Okay. Nice. 13. Yeah, that'll do it. It's, um, yeah, you get, you get them sort of <clears throat> stowed aloft. Uh, you're coming in... I mean, in a little bit fast, but, you know, you're going to slow down. The drag will, will, will help there. Um, you end up in the crow's nest uh, and you... Um, basically, it's, it's kind of like one of the more extreme forms of, of, um, of cart racing in Geth, uh, where um, one of you is looking at a chart and sort of just giving grades of turn. Oh, um, and, yes. and direction, so okay. um, pace notes basically, you might call them. Yes, yeah, in, mm. indeed. Uh, a, like you, you have the pace scroll in front of you. Yes, uh, and you're ready to give some 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 pace notes. So you've got um, you've got a medium starboard coming up. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, yeah, which is uh, basically what you want to communicate to, to Corazon. Um, basically, what what you're looking at is you've got this big broad channel, but then there's sort of a medium turn to the right and then um, sort of it again bends left and then comes into a nice sweeping sort of side that will actually put you a good distance into the reef. This isn't a memory test. I can, I can, you know, obviously. <laughs> yeah, I shout all that down to, to covers on medium starboard. Oh, okay. St- stand by into, for Into easy port. Left. Into easy port. port, that's it. Easy port. Caution over jump. All right. Into hairpin starboard. <laughs> <laughs> See, he does know boats. <laughs> yeah, there is there is a very large whale carcass just in in the thing, so you have to kind of like boom. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna um, because of the trouble I was having last time with the wheel kind of bucking around. I'm gonna yeah. give myself an additional third mage hand on the wheel. Just, uh, just that to help me. Absolutely inspired. I love it. Okay. okay. Um, Might be more of a deck sleight of hand thing. Yeah, I think deck sleight of, like of hand. Controlling the wheel. Yeah. As, yeah, like indeed, as he was doing, just palming the uh, the helm yeah, around. Like a taxi driver. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, that is uh, a 10, but plus 4 and 3, so 17. Great, okay, yeah, so you the medium starred into easy port. Uh, it's, oh, it's slick. It is great. And you're on, like, a nice a nice long sweep now. And we've, uh, dumped, is, the, we've dumped the mines over the back. Of course. Uh, where, so where were you planning to do that? Were you planning Just to do it? Just at the entrance of where it becomes narrow and becomes a sort of, you know, like a, a route. So Wonderful. That mm. Nothing can follow us into that without, you know, having to deal with the... Colliding with yeah. us. Well, let's find out how we do then. Because uh, in the slowing down, as you start to make it onto the course of this sort of long curve round to, uh, to, to starboard... Um, the first two of the uh, druidic longboats reaches the entrance to the channel. And uh, it's time for some deck saving throws, I think. Ooh, okay. That's an 18. So the first one just kind of nicely carves its way through. The second... 
is not quite so successful. Uh, <laughs> one of you see one of the mines is kind of <laughs> spray uh, yes. seawater and planking and um, very upset passengers long into the sky. Um, wow! Uh, Good effect on target. While well done. Uh, you know you're not sure if if any have um, have perished. I mean, it's likely. Um, they're certainly. <laughs> Unless they're, unless they're feeling particularly strong and fancy swimming their way through this channel to catch up with you. It was uh, sort of you, designed for a bigger ship, I must admit. But it, <laughs> That is an excellent point. There are no survivors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's, um, that's six if you're... No, five if you're planning on, um, I don't know, tweeting a stat block about this. Um, <laughs> but the other one is, is, is closing fast. All right, I, I'm I'm going to go absolutely spare, folks. If I don't at some point go overboard, so. Um, <laughs> Do you want right, to fire your cannon point, out of the Dob out of the just captain's just quarters to get first? In the water. Dob, at least let me tie the the rope onto you with a proper knot. I huffily allow a tying of the rope with a proper knot. Okay. It's yep. like when you take a kid to the beach and they just cannot wait to get into yeah. the water. Yeah. yeah. Like, let me put some sunblock on you. <laughs> no! Because as we're sort of like creeping our way through this sort of coral channel, I basically just want to hop overboard and um, and, and swim and, and I want to stand like on the side of one of the reefs, which I imagine is maybe like waist or sort of chest high in water at this point. Yeah. And I just want to wait until a wave has just passed me and then cast a great big thunder wave, wave of thunderous force to create a growing swell that just broadside on hits the little boat and pushes them out of the little channel up onto the side of the coral, wrecking them. That is exquisite. Um, I like it very, very much. Um, Hope you don't biff the roll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I've tied, uh, except, I've but I'm on a rope. so Yeah, I've tied the rope around Dob's waist and I've tied the other end of it to... Um, something sturdy the four poster bed perhaps yeah, yeah I've tied it to my four poster bed because I'm like this is the sturdiest thing <laughs> I know and there's certainly no structural damage to it so I've been tied to Corazon's four poster bed okay. <laughs> Tumblr's going wild <laughs> that's the moment they've been waiting for <laughs> okay so Thunderwave just happens yes uh, I'm going to say this lot are more than 15 foot away but uh, to be honest with you I think creating a massive wave would naturally occur here. Are you wearing, are you wearing rubber sole shoes? No. Um, P.S. Oh, no, sharp, so. sharp coral. Okay. Oh. Surely the force uh, of Reason the thunder wave cl clears a sort of Moses style space <laughs> for Dob around him as the electric blast is unleashed. I'm yes. I'm reaching sure. out. I'm I'm being hoisted by my own petard here because Thunder Wave is just supposed to be thunderous force, but every other time we've used it before, oh, it's yeah. been lightning. Yeah, it's been lightning. Made it electrical. Yeah, it can't yeah. suddenly be. I don't. Force I don't think. I don't think no, it, it does be thunder damage. Damage. all of a sudden, can it? Um, when you're but, yeah, waist deep in salt water. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, um, salt water especially. Oh goodness. All right. Well, um, you are okay. So fish for dinner. Your friends. rules interpretation is exactly right. Uh, that yes, it is meant to be thunder damage, but also your law interpretation that it's always always been electrical on the Oxventure is correct too. So have, why don't now you? Now that I'm electrocuted to death, <laughs> why don't you join me in making a Constitution saving throw against okay. your own magic yes. DC? Um, Good spell yeah. save DC. Good. What is Dob your spell save DC? Um, seventeen. We've got Dog. to get you Everyone, like a... I'm going to burst if I don't throw myself into the ocean and then it'll let yourself. At which point I will also burst. We've got to get Dog like a rubber diving suit or something. Yeah. You know, like a wetsuit. I agree. That's insulating or something. Okay, and then I'll make a deck saving throw for the... There was some stuff in my wardrobe. It got trashed. <laughs> okay. Okay, um, so re remind me how this works, Johnny. I guess so say remind me. We've never what's your spell save DC? 17. So okay. that's what I'm looking so to beat, right? Then yes, you need to make a Constitution saving throw. So okay, cool. Roll the d20. Add your con mod. If you have um, proficiency in a Constitution saving throw, you can also add your proficiency bonus. No. Nope. Okay. Think I do. Or maybe I. Do. Uh, who cares? Let's find out. Uh, okay, well, that's a nine plus four, which is not okay. seventeen. Sure. 
Um, well, the good news is that the um, the boat uh, completely whiffed the saving throw and also the deck saving throw to not capsize. Um, and you know what? Um, because it is salt water and that is considerably more conductive, I'm going to say that they are going to take uh, damage from this underwave because um, it it's it's the Ox Venture. It's electrical. <laughs> Don't at me. Uh, can you roll damage, please, Dub? For yes. In Guest Thunder, and lightning you. is reverse. Thunder is the lightning part, and lightning yeah. is the the loud bangy part. Exactly. So, yeah. yeah. So this is so this is fun because I'm rolling the damage on them, but it will also be the damage on me, right? Yes, correct. So <laughs> how high do you want it to be? Let's find out. Uh, oh, well, that's just a three plus one hmm. plus six. Ten. Okay. So ten. Pretty, pretty spicy. Yeah, yeah, so that's 10 points of damage to all of them, uh, and also to you. Um, but the boat's capsized, that's the main thing. The boat has capsized, and they are all now sort of just shocked uh, in the water. Um, and How's just sort of down there, Corazon? Having a bad Corazon time. Haul, haul my like, charred carcass back aboard, please. It looks like Doc managed on? to hurt himself quite badly, so he'll be happy. <laughs> <laughs> he'll, oh, good. Yeah. I, uh, he'll sleep well tonight. I Let's haul up. Like, Dob aboard. The sizzling uh, carcass. <laughs> Dob back aboard the ship. <laughs> this is going to sound weird, but does that smell good to anyone else? <laughs> yeah, it's like roasted courgette, yeah. I want to say. Mm, um, <laughs> like zucchini on the barbecue. Yeah, zucchini. Yeah, exactly. mm. That's weird. Uh, was not as if we wrap him in like foil that. and keep him warm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah him later. Oh, God, yeah. So, um, you are coming to the end of this, like, nice hard like sort of well uh, slow carve into into the reef you're now like a decent distance in but you can see that there are the other two sort of uh boats are starting to wow that's a two um they're starting to enter the channel the first you know one you know there's still a mine in there like yes the, one that, the unexploded one that's what the two's about the first yeah. one just plows like almost deliberately into it yeah. and, um, and that's after they saw the first yeah. one get blown. Yeah. They're just yeah. that bad at sailing. But they are going like at such a rate that you see the planks individually just peel back um, as oh. the mine just tears this, this oh, ship apart. That must have been horrifying. Their final moments must have been really, really quite terrifying. I make a note to adjust oh. the formula slightly. <laughs> right, yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, it's, a new, it's a new science. You know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's very experimental. I was, I was going to say that the next boat is going to find it quite hard to navigate through the fine med red mist that is now sort oh, of hanging over yeah. the, the coral reef, but that's 20. So Dang. actually... Um, they burst uh, a billowing cloud of red mist. Fair yeah. Now's um, the time for the stern chaser, though, right? Well, the, I mean, do, are, we in a, are we in a broadside position, or where are they? Are they directly behind us? Okay, so let's... Oh, wow, talking about being hoisted by your own petard. They come in. They take a medium starboard into an easy port, and then it's a long carve to... Yes! Uh, okay. So the stern chase... The long carve into that... Okay, so the stern chaser right now is no good. Your starboard battery is in a position to try and hit the the um, the boat, the, the lifeboat. Um, but coming up, you've got a hard like left, like a hard hairpin, which means that the stern chaser is going to swing around if you are swift enough and you'll be able to... You're probably only going to get one shot at blowing this thing up with the stern chaser. All right. But you can do it. Let me. Well, let me see if I can get some shots off with the, um, the side battery and then mm -hmm. if that misses, then... Dob, are you in any position to fire the stern chaser? How are you feeling? You're smoking quite a lot. <laughs> yeah, that, I, that actually fixed my back, so yeah, I'm oh, feeling... Okay. Um, <laughs> Can I yeah. cure wounds or something on Dob just to help him out a little bit while this yeah, is, while we do the Star Wars shots? Um, yeah, There's no time, I'll... damn it! <laughs> All right, well, I, I mean, I, I'm not doing anything, Corazon. Send me, send me to the, to send me back to your wrecked uh, captain's chambers. Wait. Okay, Prudence, <laughs> Prudence, uh, get on I, the yeah. Prudence I kind of think you should fire the cannon because you can cast that like magic eye thing. Clairvoyance, like I can. Clairvoyance? I can use like, clairvoyance maybe to help guide my aim. I feel like that would help aim. with aiming. Okay, yeah. well, yeah. Come, and jo come and join me in the battery because there's a bunch of guns down here. I can't fire all of them at once. So, <laughs> all right. Myself. All right, fine. I join Corazon in the battery. 
Okay, and so it's okay. me and Egbert on the stern chaser, and Corazon. Yeah, and I'm gonna. While we're at the stern chaser, I'm gonna cure wounds on um, on Dob, which is one d8 plus spell casting modifier. Great. So you're. <laughs> what? what? It's three years in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> spellcasting modifier. Whatever that is. Whatever. <laughs> that is. Yeah. Whatever that is. Sounds like for nerds. <laughs> Roll a D8 for one right, thing. Hit me with yeah. that sports massage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one D8 plus four for sports massage. First, I need to find my D8. Okay, I got it. It's I got two it. pyramids. Yeah, it's I got one it. One pyramid stuck to another pyramid. That's a three plus a spell casting modifier of three. Which is your charisma. Three. Yeah, three. <laughs> so you heal six. Yeah. Oh, I'm okay. <laughs> yeah. Fine. Obviously, Johnny, you're six. Um, yeah, Johnny, okay, keep so <laughs> yes, you you keep heal up, you heal six points uh, of damage to Dob. Um, Corazon yeah. and Prudence uh, like run to to the gun deck. Yeah. Um, Russ chases after you, uh, yelling, uh, inspiring slogans like, <laughs> "Come on, uh, run like you're being paid one gold piece." <laughs> and uh, do you want to see a guillotine at Piccadilly? Um, uh, and, uh, and so on and so forth. Do you want to call that raggedy um, Alst uh, uh, Lilith your queen? No. No. Allez. No. Allez. Then, 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 on the uproll, fire. Um, okay, how do we do an entire starboard battery with two people? I reckon mm. I could fire two cannons. I mean, I, we can light. We can <laughs> light all the can. cannons. It's to, it's about the aiming, right? I mean, right, I can just, right, can right, just right. run down I it with just the slow down match. With, like, yeah, with it, yeah. But so none can, of them would be aimed. Like you no, need people but, to I mean, aim cannons. Surely they're all pointing them all. just sort of straight out, aren't they? Basically? I can aim. I can aim one. I can aim one. All right. Look, here's how we're going to do this. Uh, I'm going to start a stopwatch. Um, okay. I'm going to give you twelve seconds. Okay. To roll as many dex checks as Ooh. you can. Okay. Uh, if Luke and Mike, you could help me try and note these down. Yep. Okay. Yep. Uh, in fact, uh, so Luke, you try and note down everything Andy says. Mike, you get James mm -hmm. checks. Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh, okay. So I'm adding four. And I'll be, roll. I'll be time, time lord. Okay. So, uh, starboard battery begins in three, two, one. Roll. Uh, Eight. Twenty-two. 13. 14. 7. 6. 16. 9. 10. 18. Twi uh, time. Twime? Twime. That's Jane, Twime. Jane, were you adding your modifiers yes. or not? I Perfect. was doing the maths up here as we mm. went. Hong Kong. Six degrees <laughs> coming in handy fine. Uh, DC is 12. How many hits? Uh, two from Jane. Okay. And three from Corazon. Okay. And how many... Um, how many rolls were there in total, actually? Five. Uh, five from Jane as well. That's an enormous battery. Oh well, I guess the um, I guess the <laughs> Joyful Damnation has an enormous battery. That's yeah, five I was very hits. Very insistent about it having an enormous battery. <laughs> yeah. Does that mean there are ten cannons on each side of the ship? Yes. Twenty. Gun presumably ships. several 20 rows. Yeah, so. a couple of at least a couple of rows. Five on each row. That's not massive. <laughs> Surely. It's your standard. Are you saying that they changed decks to do this? <laughs> no, 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 they only find one deck. So oh, it's like right. 10, 20, 30. It's your standard 40, 40 guns. 40 guns. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Why not? Um, okay, so that's five hits with... Oh, with, with eight pounders. I mean, I'm not even going to crunch the numbers on that. <laughs> um, you've, you've killed it. You've killed... You've, yeah, killed you've them, yeah. absolutely decimated it. Um, <laughs> Yay! Yeah. That's what I was waiting for. <laughs> um, Eight pounders. Oh, um, um, Egbert, just like pop a firework into the stern chaser, just as a sort of celebratory. Well, I mean, you, bear in mind, because you did sort of briefly talk about this, um, the stern chaser is going to be able to, is going to sort of come into the mouth of the, um, the, the mouth of the, uh, the sort of channel. Um, mm -hmm. And... If you look out the stern, you can see that the um, the inevitability is actually going to sort of cruise by. So you Ooh. do have a chance to get a shot off as okay. you make the left turn, the sort right. of hard left sort of hairpin. 
Main mast. We're going for the main mast. It does help me help me line this up. All right. I mean, it does occur to you that absolutely nobody is on the helm. Uh, oh. And currently, you're going to cruise into a wall. Whoa. We're about to I crash. Should get back up. I should get back up on the wheel. <laughs> yeah, you out. should, Corazon. And I, I, run, I would like to run back up to the wheel, run. please. Okay, Rust follows you going, do you want to crash into the coral? No. Do you want to call that raggedy no. arse Liliana your queen? No, no. Ale, ale. Um, okay. All right, make me a... This isn't deck sleight of hand now. This is strength athletics. So oh, just no. try and wrench the, the helm and there by the rudder. Oh, my goodness. Allons-y. Uh, that's a 17 plus 1, 18. Woohoo! Uh, it's, it's heroic. You just lean the, all the way over and just woof, Like, like you're in a, like a, a Lindy Hop and you're helping somebody do a cartwheel. <laughs> um, <laughs> the, the helm of the Joyful Damnation just becomes a blur as, um, as the ship just, like, wrenches its way to the left. Well, that's gonna um, make our shot harder, Egbert, but I believe in us. Uh, well, you you can see basically you see the you know the your view and indeed the cannon sort of swinging round and um, just it's it's pretty well timed just as the uh, inevitability um, comes into view. Let yep. her let her have it, boys. No, uh, I'm gonna shall I yeah. How far away is the inevitability? Oh, are we actually calculating range? I don't know. I'm just Amazing. asking. Asking. It's in range. <laughs> what is um, range? It was like a mile or something, wasn't it? Like when last we were. It was a mile before, but then you did have to slow down quite a bit. That's fine. Um, Ignore me then. I was just um, wondering. How so close you it is. like? Um, you're wondering if you can teleport to the deck. I'm not going to teleport. That's thirty <laughs> feet. I'd end up dropping in the drink. Mm, yeah. Teleport to the deck, moon them, and then teleport back. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so it gives a whole new meaning to Moonbeam, another reason that we can all, all, all feel good that Ellen doesn't have to sit through this. I do um, have that as well, so, you know. You, yeah, you no, have Moonbeam? He's lying. Yeah, no, he's I lying. Look at my cards. You don't I mean, have Moonbeam. You, you can do Moonbeam. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> Egbert, Why? Right There's now. a lot of things you don't know about me. <laughs> right now, Egbert, list all of your I'm spells your GM. and abilities. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know Moonbeam? Do, do a Moonbeam on them. There's the, do a Moonbeam on the ship. Sink them. Okay. It needs to be 130 feet. Yeah, They're more than 130 feet exactly. away. Um, That's why were... I was very carefully asking you about how far away they yes, were. Yes, they were a good way away, but um, like while obviously it feels like you've only been in this channel for like a couple of minutes, you, it's like... These manoeuvres are c quite slow, so you've given them ample time to catch up. Yeah. Um, so uh, I'm going to say that, yes, you, you, you can make this shot on them. Um, <coughs> which bit of the ship are you aiming for? You say you're aiming for the mast. The, yeah, the main mast. Okay. All right. Carry it um, away. How best to resolve Dob, this? I feel like you should be taking this shot rather than me, because you know about ships, and I don't know anything about ships. I don't know. I mean, actually working the cannon, though, like it's a big piece of equipment... Okay, well, in that case, in order to get elevation, uh, can I have a strength athletics check from you, please, Egbert? Yes. And I'm elevation gonna... is that like the lifting it? How like, up for the... the cannon's going to go? Okay. Could I get a wisdom perception check from you, please, Dob, to uh, try and gauge the arc of the cannonball? I really, really want this to work. <gasps> it's not going. Eighteen to... plus four for the strength. It's so nearly, it looked like it was about to land on four and then it landed on 18 or Okay. Now roll to Th adjust for the Coriolis effect. 13. <laughs> 13. Do you still have inspiration? Yes. Be I mean, I, I never spend it, so I'm up. I'm oh, sure exactly. I have it. <laughs> oh. Well, that's 15. Oh. Okay. Which, which is, is a threshold in some situations. <laughs> It's enough. Um, it is just enough. But yes, you manage Glancing to glancing blow um, on the mast. You, I mean, it's it's a it's a good crack. Um, you were hoping to hit it right at the base to really just topple the whole thing, but um, nonetheless, uh, you, you, the cannonball still just absolutely hammers into the middle of the mast. Um, splinters fly out the other side, and then. 
with a, a terrible groan and crack that you can hear even from um, your vantage point in the now very, very smoky captain's cabin with um, your ears ringing, you hear the groan as basically the top two yards of this mast, like the top half just and crash into the sea. The rigging is all a mess. Um, the, the wreckage will be acting as a sea anchor, so they're going to have to take steps to remedy that. Um, I high five uh, Egbert. How is, um, how is my display case of uh, China horses, horse figurines? I suppose the... Obliterated. Uh, the not, crystal, yeah, not to answer... Crystal <laughs> unicorns. Not to answer a question with a question, but what crystal unicorns? What display <laughs> case? Um, <laughs> yeah, the captain's cabin is, is, is properly... Well, captain's cabin A is properly, properly ruined. But... Um, uh, so while, Captain Kevin B. while the um, while uh, the the crew of the inevitability um, scrabbles to try and sort out the ship, um, and uh, little tiny fish, the ones that weren't killed by the mine, uh, bob up to the surface to eat the the gobbets of of marauders that were scattered yes. in the waters. Um, so you start life. <laughs> you start to thread your way carefully but peacefully through uh, a coral reef that is so vast and labyrinthine that it's going to take you quite a while to, to, to get through it, but you are quite certain, having uh, looked at the charts, that when you come out the other side, you will be free of Liliana and her crew. And yeah. nobody, apart from Rust on the Harbour, managed to set foot on the deck, Good. which I genuinely is impressive given everything that Liliana <laughs> had arrayed against you oh, uh, so that's the story of how you wrecked one of Corazon's many many veterans yeah. <laughs> after party in captain's quarters, quarters B. B you can, you can <laughs> Ooh, have an it's quite it's a, an after party ah, you can have the after party that's in sure captain's quarters D oh what, ah. oh, what? D. I'm saving it doesn't C even have time. a velvet rope <laughs> no it's for low Ooh. <laughs> cool well thank you Johnny for another wonderful Ox Venture thank you everyone for watching I hope you enjoyed um, if you haven't yet do check out the Blades in the Dark sessions that we're running over on Outside Extra for more of this kind of thing but with a slightly more steampunky Victorian Gothic aesthetic which I think we all appreciate um, mm. yeah do, do check that out uh, like and subscribe for more Ox Venture and we'll see you next time bye bye bye, bye. bye.